Hey there, this is Newcastle Music Studios, and in this video, I'm going to be discussing how to write songs, music for MIDI keyboard, MIDI controller specifically. It's a subscriber request. All right, so what makes a song a song, and how do you write that particular song using the MIDI keyboard? You're dealing with 12 notes in the Western scale, so you have seven white keys and you have five black keys. When you pair these keys, which actually represent a note, for example, like A or D or E or so on, when you pair them together, you get what's called a chord. So if we want to play something like A minor, we might play on the MIDI, we might play A, C, and E. A, C, and E are going to represent the A minor chord. All right, so the key to writing music using your MIDI controller is going to be chords, chord progressions, and then possibly when you get a little deeper into it, using specific key signatures and playing within that key signature. But we're not going to get into the key signature too much at this point, just the chord progression. Now I'm going to give you a chord progression cheat sheet here. And basically, uh, you, you can choose from that. And the reason I recommend choosing is because these are all like, they all sound good. They're all harmonically proper and whatnot versus if you get on here and you don't know what you're doing and you start playing stuff and you're like, okay, so the idea to make a chord is to put notes together, right? So if I want to play A minor, we play A minor. If I want to play F, we play F. Okay, but if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to be like, okay, what about these three notes? A, B, C. Now they're all dissident because they're spaced right next to each other and that sounds terrible. So use the cheat sheet. And then in the cheat sheet, if you have to, go on Google or wherever. You can have to find the resource. If you want to learn the notes of each chord, right, because you have a chord progression. If you have four chord progressions, you have four chords. If you have F, G, A minor, and then let's say you just go right back to uh, playing G for the fourth one. So you're only using three chords, but you're playing them in a four chord progression. But with that being said, if you don't know the notes to F or the notes to G, you have to look them up. So if I look up F major and I find F, A, C, and then uh, you add the other F if you want. Because there are variations of chords. I'm not going to get into that. That's a little more advanced. But that's F, right? There's some G. So let's say you choose a chord progression. And then basically learn all the notes of that chord progression and then you can play them. So if you don't know F, uh, F, A, C, and your chord progressions F, G, A, you have to know all the notes to each. So you have to know the basics. You can look them up. You can look up the notes to a chord. All right, back to the chord progression. The chord progression we're going to look at here for building a song is going to be F, as I just um, pointed out and then G, and then A. So you're not really going to get much out of writing or building a song by just going like this. Because the rhythm is dead. There's no rhythm in that. It's just... That's more like an intro or outro or something like that. So you have to add the bounce. The rhythm, I think of it as like a bouncy, bouncy situation here. So if we're looking at, like I said, F... Dun, 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 dun. Very generic, but we're going to do it anyway, and we're going to use it five times, meaning we're going to hit it five times, and then we're going to do the same for the other three, or the other two. So starting with F major, now G major, now A minor, and let's close it up and go back to G. All right, no talking this time. I'll play it through. F, G, A, G. So, now you're going to make your own rhythm. I'm not going to teach you how to be creative. So it's like when you think of like the bounce, the rhythm, as I like to call it, bounce rhythm, um, how the notes bounce and play around. That's the creativity part. That's the part you have to learn. Okay. You can learn the chord progression like I just pointed out, the F, G, A. But to make a song a song, if that was our verse, 
you have to add some spice to it. The spice is the rhythm. And like I just said, the spice we added was five. One, two, three, four, 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 five. And that would be like the verse. So it'd be like, uh, we would do that. Um, but that's the easiest way to do it is you pick a chord progression. So we picked F there. That's what we started with. But you can do it kind of with anything. Let's just say I wanted to do D minor, A minor, C, and G. That's a progression I really like. Probably not well suited for a song, but it is what it is. But we could play that as the, let's say we're going to play that as the chorus. So let's start with the verse, which is F again. All right, so there you have it. You have an example of a verse and a chorus, and all a song really is composed of is a verse, a chorus, verse, chorus, bridge solo, and so on. I don't really wanna get into the bridge solo part in this video too much because so many people are kind of finicky with how they watch videos and they don't understand that if you don't watch most of the video or the whole video, you're gonna get lost in the lesson. So the lesson we looked at today was taking a chord, a chord which is composed of three or four notes in this situation at least, not completely true in every situation, but we, we put together a chord, F, A, C, and then from that we gave it rhythm, and the rhythm was in five, one, two, three, four, five, just a generic number, a feeling of rhythm. And then we continued that with the F and the G and then the A and the back to the G. And then in our chorus, we went over and we played uh, D minor. And then we played A minor. And then we played uh, C major. And then we finished it off with a nice G major touch. So that's basically the lesson right now. To recap, we talked about chords. Chords are made up of individual notes. Learn each individual note for the chord. Use a cheat sheet. It's much, much quicker. If you're new to this, every time you play a chord, pick the beats per minute. That's the time. Is it 70 beats per minute? That's a slow song. Is it 100 beats per minute? That's in the middle. 130, that's a fast-paced dance or pop rock or punk song. And then add your rhythm to it. The rhythm is like how you bounce. Da, 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 da. As we said, like y if you took just like the five, the five, um, playing it five times, like one, two, three, four, five. Or you could just do the back and forth method, which is very, very simple. It's like one twos. And so it'd be like one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, you know, like That's basically um, a four chord song and it's very, very easy. And it's the first song I ever wrote like 10 years ago. So if you play major and you wanna write happy songs, use major chords and occasionally throw in maybe a minor. But if you wanna write dark music, music that's more sad, use your minor keys. Use your A minor, your D minor, E minor, and so on and so forth. And also take some time and look up each chord or key signature and type in key signature feeling and then just take five minutes and read about what it is exactly the the theory or the feeling about a specific key signature d minor for example uh is often looked at as being uh 
dark, sad, but it can also be a very warlike thing. Now, if I play something a little deeper, a lower octave. That doesn't sound sad to me. That sounds more kind of like, whoa, 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 we're getting ready for something. And again, the rhythm matters and the beats per minute matter, but that's my lesson for now. I'm sorry this is so long, but um, there's just so much to discuss and there's so many approaches to it. But again, use your creativity and the cheat sheets and take it from there and just practice and see what you have.